Hello everyone, it's uh, three o'clock. We'll give uh, some more time for the uh, remaining uh, attendees today to join to our special uh, webinar on customer service costs on the radar screen and how to automate with this. We'll wait for a few more seconds and then we'll start. Great. So let's kick off. Welcome to today's webinar on customer service costs on the radar screen, how to automate with these processes and also how to make the most of combining human and technology. Before we start, some housekeeping rules to make sure that we are uh, all set to start. Please keep your, your mics throughout the uh, webinar muted. Use the chat that we have uh, in place for the questions you might have throughout the webinar. At the end of the same, we'll uh, come back to those questions and make sure that we answer all of them. Uh, some uh, heads up on what's to come. We'll go through uh, the different elements of uh, today's presentation, including uh, a very specific use case uh, of how to automate those uh, um, elements within the customer service uh, uh, department and, and processes. And then we'll also have a small presentation. And as I mentioned, we'll um, spend some time to the questions that you might have. Uh, to, towards the end of today's webinar. But uh, before we get into all uh, what's to come in, in today's webinar, let me introduce to our two main uh, speakers today. From one side, we have Inita Janowska Karlsberger, a client relationship manager at Tilde. Um, Inita has uh, experience over nine years, specializing in improving cooperation processes and shooting information flows and building sustainable relationships uh, between partners. Uh, Inita advises uh, leading uh, Baltic companies and institutions on artificial intelligence language solutions. Hi, Inita. Hi, Thanks everyone. And then we also have with us uh, Karina Jankowska, Karina is um, uh, the customer service manager at DPV uh, Latvia. And uh, Karina is a highly experienced uh, customer service manager whose main strengths are related to leading international teams and ensuring that uh, customer service processes are aligned with the company's key strategies, highlighting customer orienting, orientation and efficiency improvement. Hi, Karina. Thank you hi, for joining Hi, us. hi, everyone. Mm -hmm. So after this uh, small introduction, let's move to uh, today's uh, main topic, uh, which is um, customer service, technologies, automatization, and then also um, efficiency improvement, uh, cost reduction. Before we jump with our guests today to uh, the topic that uh, will cover uh, most of uh, our we webinar, Let's have a look at what are the main challenges in uh, customer service in this highly uh, digitalized area. We talk about serving multiple customers at the same time. Uh, there's a high pressure for, for a response and I would also add a fast response to uh, customers. Uh, at the end of the day, we look at one of the main challenges also, ensuring that continued service, uh, and especially outside working hours. Um, customers nowadays uh, tend to uh, connect not only during working hours, but also outside them. And, and, and then they, 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 look for how, uh, they look at having responses, replies as soon as possible. 
And, and when it comes to uh, this entire uh, process, of course, we talk about user experience in this increasingly uh, digital world. This is from a theory point of view, and since we have uh, two great uh, guests today, uh, I would like to ask uh, both of you, Inita and, and Karina, um, what's your experience? Maybe we can start with uh, Karina from a, from a very um, experience, uh, managing position experience from your point of view, um, how this resonates to, to, with your experience managing teams and, and, and the challenges that you face in this digital era? Uh, yeah, um, I think uh, we, we should uh, go uh, in digital area. We should go mm -hmm. to the uh, direction that uh, provide customers uh, self-service tools, a lot mm -hmm. of them, because uh, uh, customers can uh, proceed uh, mm -hmm. their needs by themselves and they like it. And uh, mm -hmm. we, we should, as a company, we should provide them uh, such uh, solutions mm -hmm. in the future and now. Uh, yeah. And um, what about the challenges? Of course, is uh, the hiring people uh, mm -hmm. for customer service. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, all this, uh, which you mentioned before, the time, uh, working hours, of course, customer service uh, do not work uh, all the time and uh, chatbots and other solutions can work at uh, out of uh, uh, customer service uh, working hours. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's the main challenges we, we, we have and uh, this is the future would we look at. Mm -hmm. and, and that's a good, uh, a good topic, the one you mentioned, this uh, self-service, which at the end of the day comes to this uh, user experience, uh, probably, and, and how to ensure that, that this is a um, a smooth digital experience for, for them to, 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 to handle the, the, the entire process. Inita, from your experience, experience um, advising different type of pa partners um, in, in this regard, um, what's your take in, in terms of these uh, challenges? Mm, yes, I can agree with you, Ruben, and also Karina, that uh, nowadays customers are getting more and more um, digitally uh, educated. They know how to uh, operate in different systems, different chat channels, and they want the answer quick, fast, and they don't want to wait a long time uh, to get an answer. Uh, they don't want to stand in lines, uh, in telephoning lines um, to get the connection, but they want the answer right now. And mm -hmm. um, these are the challenges that uh, also uh, working with uh, customers and with chatbots, is uh, one of the most uh, topics that uh, comes out uh, when talking about uh, chatbot implementation and uh, Automation. developing mm -hmm. yeah. and automation yes mm. so yes i can totally agree that this is um, future and um, it's um, very fast and uh, mm. demanding uh, but, but probably not only uh, the future but also the the, the present um, yes. from a from <laughs> yes. a and ex, um, from a, a survey that was carried out a couple of years ago from Chatbots Live, 61% uh, of those who were asked um, about what's the most convenient and easy way to communicate with a company, 61% uh, of, of, of those people um, express messaging as, as uh, the most convenient and easy way to, to communicate with, uh, with a, a specific company. Is that the case also um, with uh, you, uh, Karina? I think um, uh, it's, uh, people' um, habits are changed. Uh, mm -hmm. If before they use uh, computers, then yeah. now they use phones, always and everywhere. And uh, you you have to provide uh, everything in uh, in your mobile phone. Uh -huh. Yeah, and uh, this is the way how we communicated. All people mm -hmm. are writing. <laughs> with two fingers in the mobile yeah. phone and uh, do not use the call or or but they are writing and they don't want to wait the answer mm. they can write an email and you know that the email uh, that the answer comes uh, after day or hours but not uh, right now mm. and uh, why we prefer to communicate in uh, 
Messenger, in WhatsApp, and uh, and uh, in chatbot because mm -hmm. the answer is right now. Mm -hmm. The important the answer is correct and good. <laughs> this is the yeah. challenge. Yeah, and and, and giving uh, giving that fast response that uh, we've been uh, talking about it. But yeah, that, that that's good, and and that set, uh, sets up the the, the mood for uh, the, the the next few minutes uh, and and the main topic of of today's presentation. Uh, but before we jump into that, um, Inita, uh, perhaps uh, you can give us a, a, a brief overview of uh, TILDE and, and, and the different uh, areas of, of activity. Oh, yes, so let's jump into the slides. Um, so as uh, Ruben already uh, introduced me, I'm Inita and uh, working in TILDE. Um, TILDE is one of the leading uh, language technology companies, and we specialize in uh, artificial intelligence powered solutions, uh, which are uh, such as uh, machine translation, chatbots, uh, speech technologies, and localization. Um, we have a great uh, team of researchers uh, that provides that our solutions are uh, up to date and uh, we make them innovative and uh, be on the top of the trends and follow the trends and give uh, customers um, the most uh, of the product and uh, give the best to them. Um, also, our chatbot uh, platform uh, is uh, AI powered and um, it uh, combines uh, all of these um, uh, um, like uh, components uh, like speech recognition and synthesis. Mm -hmm. Um, natural language processing and uh, machine uh, learning uh, uh, elements that provides uh, a smart and um, um, trustable product. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, Anita. So um, let's move on. And uh, my uh, my first question, and probably something that comes to mind uh, to most of uh, the the the. the the people that are watching uh, our webinar today is uh, is the following um, what are chatbots yes that's the main topic of uh, today's conversation and um, before we jump into a bit deeper into the chatbots uh, what are they uh, i would like to uh, go a bit fast through the chatbot evolution Mm -hmm. um, chatbots aren't uh, for a very long time in the market, but we already can uh, speak about their generations. Um, the first chatbots, uh, and the, which are one of the most common in the market right now, are simple question and answer chatbots, uh, which means that these chatbots are um, designed as um, predefined uh, texts where chatbot gives you possible question you tick with uh, with a mouse or uh, whatever uh, on the question and it gives you back an answer and that's how they work simple question and answer uh, the next generation uh, comes already with um, uh, ability to process natural uh, language inputs which means that we can write in the text uh, our question and the chatbot will um, understand what we have written and give us back the answer. Um, but these chatbots uh, are uh, also quite simple. Uh, they have um, only some three to five scenarios. So they are simple chatbots, uh, but they can understand our inputs. Um, the third uh, generation uh, comes already with uh, uh, more advanced um, technologies as these chatbots uh, can understand uh, the context of the conversation, uh, which means that we can uh, give chatbot inputs uh, in written uh, language, or uh, it can be combined with uh, question and answer uh, elements. Um, but we also can write uh, like grammatically in uh, grammatically uh, not uh, correct uh, questions, the chatbot will understand the intent of this uh, question and will give us back the correct answer from the mm, knowledge base. So um, these mm -hmm. chatbots can also be um, integrated with other systems with um, 
third party um, applications. And um, also we can provide authentication for the customer, which gives more precise and more uh, uh, personalized uh, answers. And uh, if we talk about the first generation, um, it's um, basically the third generation, but here's come, here comes also uh, 3D uh, avatars and voice uh, uh, commands and also chatbot can answer in voice. And if we are talking about Tilda's chatbots, uh, are, uh, they are um, the third and the fourth generation. Hmm. Interesting. So we see that uh, within a small period of time, uh, things uh, evolve a very fast uh, when it comes to, 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 to chatbots. And what's the essence of chatbots uh, at the end of the day, right, uh, Inita? Yeah, if we are uh, seeking for chatbot uh, definition, then uh, in uh, simple words that we can say that the chatbot uh, helps a user to, to accomplish uh, tasks uh, which are uh, based uh, which are done by humans but the chatbot helps uh, to answer these questions uh, with the help of the artificial intelligence hmm. um, it means and, and, that, and my, yeah. my, my next question also how we relate all this uh, in it is um, so we talk, we we saw a, a line of evolution of chatbots and and when it comes to features and and different elements in in, in chatbots uh, what 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 are the main things that a chatbot can bring into for 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 users or for a company? Uh, yes, uh, as we see that the top features uh, from the chatbots, uh, which uh, we are providing, uh, one of the first is multilingual support. As we know that uh, we may think that everybody speaks in English and also for um, global companies, we can make a chatbot in English and it will uh, answer all the questions. Uh, but uh, as we know that um, customers like to speak in their native language and if we can provide them uh, the possibility to um, speak with the customer service uh, specialist or a chatbot who speaks in uh, uh, our native language, it gives uh, a very good benefit to the company and also for the customer's um, um, journey through this uh, um, question mm -hmm. and answer thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so we can provide uh, uh, chatbots uh, and um, provide uh, conversations in all the European languages. Um, so that's a good uh, plus for uh, global companies. Um, the voice enabled chatbots. Um, uh, which can provide, uh, we can provide uh, voice enabled chatbots in uh, Baltic languages, which means that uh, we can make chatbots that speak uh, uh, with the customer, or uh, we can, you can give to the chatbot a voice command. Uh, if, for example, you are driving and want to speak with the chatbot, you can give this um, input and it will give you back also uh, an output uh, in voice. Um, yeah. Uh, about machine and human synergies. Um, this means uh, that the machine and human uh, can work together. For example, as if the chatbot um, uh, starts the conversation with the customer and um, there comes out a complex question where the chatbot cannot answer. Um, chatbot can always um, be uh, set up uh, as that, that he can call a human customer service uh, specialist to come and help to resolve a complex question. And um, this is where the machine and human uh, comes together uh, to provide a good customer service and help to the client to solve the problem. Mm -hmm. um, as um, the, all our chatbots are uh, AI driven, uh, that means that the um, chatbot understands uh, the intents understands the inputs and even if we are typing dramatically um, incorrect the chatbot will understand the intent and give back uh, a correct answer um, an answer also the chatbot can be teached and uh, his knowledge base can be improved to get more and more precise answers for the client and uh, one of the uh, um, one of the questions also that comes up from customers, do I need a coding skills 
for some special IT uh, uh, okay. education yeah. to get uh, a chatbot? No, the answer is no, as um, we have made uh, a user-friendly and um, intu intuitive uh, platform uh, that provides um, easy access and easy work in this platform. So everyone uh, who wants to get involved as a chatbot trainer and train the chatbot for a company can uh, work in the platform and uh, and do it that easily. Yeah. Yes, yes. And and then as as we wrap up all this together, uh, we saw at the beginning some statistics on messaging. We saw the evolution of chatbots and and so on. Um, not so long ago, I remember we only had uh, mainly Facebook or or, or very yes. few social. Uh, channels or, 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 or online channels where uh, we were interacting between all of us. But nowadays, and also this is something that uh, Karina uh, mentioned through the different channels that, that they need to approach uh, uh, that customer conversation. Um, how, the, how, how at the end of the day, how these um, chatbots uh, can be used in, in those different uh, platforms or, or social channels nowadays? Um, yes, you're, you're correct. Uh, as few years ago, we didn't know, we know that there were few um, chat channels where we were talking uh, to our um, relatives and um, communicating with organizations. Then now we have um, dozens of them and uh, everybody has their own uh, favorite uh, chat tool uh, communications platform. And um, this is also a challenge for uh, companies that want to uh, be more open and accessible to the customers. So uh, they have to think about how to uh, provide uh, access to all of them for the customers. And that's why our chatbots can be integrated in different kind of uh, social media platforms, in um, customer portals and service platforms um, to give customers uh, this uh, opportunity to speak with the chatbot and um, also um, uh, get answers in uh, all channels that the company is using. Yes. So yeah. that's a great challenge. Uh, yes, and, and as we move closer to um, uh, Karina's uh, different use case and, 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 and approach and, and also to the, the, the topic on, on customer service uh, to, to, today, um, what about any specific data in terms of uh, what are the main benefits of using uh, chatbots uh, within this specific uh, department across different uh, uh, sectors? Mm -hmm. Yes, if we look at the most um, valued potential benefits of the chatbots that uh, we have uh, been aware of, uh, the first comes out is this 24 seven service. Uh, as we spoke already in the beginning, that this is uh, one of the challenges in nowadays that uh, customers want to have um, instant and um, instant replays and no matter what time of the day it is, or is it holiday or uh, is it um, out of working hours? So this is one of the biggest um, potential benefits that comes out. Um, also the instant uh, response, uh, rate and um, answer to the simple questions uh, comes out as the next um, greatest benefit uh, from the chatbot as um, uh, chatbots um, are replaying instantly and um, as there are predefined already those answers and uh, there's no wait time. No. Um, it's an easy communication uh, as we spoke that uh, we have uh, been uh, talking in different chat channels uh, and we find them the most uh, f fastest and uh, most easiest for uh, our uh, lifestyles and um, also chatbots can help uh, for uh, different kind of complaint resolutions and um, uh, they can uh, help to um, resolve such situations when some complaints uh, need mm -hmm. to be um, mm -hmm. fulfilled or application forms and they can guide you through this process and give a give, give a better experience uh, 
in this process uh, and uh, help uh, to guide through some questions or uh, these kind of forms. Yeah, that, that, that's good. Uh, th thank you, Nita. Um, and as, as we move forward, uh, so, some uh, extra um, research in, in, in this specific topic when it comes to uh, business gains uh, from uh, official data, in this case, um, uh, an IBM uh, survey. When it comes to chatbots being able to answer questions, standard questions from, from customers and, and the specific cost reduction uh, for, 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 for companies. And this is something that we'll, uh, we'll look now with, uh, with Karina. Um, but before Karina, uh, just to, to, to give an, an overview also of uh, uh, DPD and then the specific customer service um, uh, that, that, that you managed to, to put things into perspective. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry, I tell about uh, DPD here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. As you know, DPD Latvia is part of DPD Group, and um, mm -hmm. I think uh, all heard about that. Uh, this is the best road delivery solution in Europe, and our core business is uh, delivery parcels uh, to to door to door or door to locker uh, to offices, and also we deliver uh, in uh, pallets. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, what is our secret? Why we are so so uh, huge and best? Uh, because we combined uh, innovative uh, technologies and uh, strong local uh, networks in uh, all business units all over, all over the Europe, not yeah. only in Latvia. Yeah, you you have to know your your network and uh, understand how to uh, how to manage uh, with uh, your customers. And uh, this uh, let us. Um, we and offer a flexible, user-friendly services to our customers, and uh, most important to their customers, because we do not sell just uh, service delivery. We we have to be uh, very uh, kind, polite, and and uh, user-friendly for uh, receivers also. Um. Uh, and um, yeah, this uh, last uh, couple of years uh, clearly shows that the importance of our industry for uh, society and uh, has yeah. changed um, a lot. Change culture uh, of supply in general. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How uh, changed this uh, um, customer yeah. habits situation, and then yeah. especially it, it's been a. Um, a, a complex uh, couple of years with uh, COVID and then and, 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 and then different type of um, uh, situations, uh, social and, and economics, which I believe have impacted uh, the, the 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 work of, of, of your team. How many people uh, uh, compose the, the 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 team at the moment, um, Karina? You mean uh, customer service? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we uh, we we before COVID we was uh, about uh, twelve, and now we are yeah. twenty. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. it's changed, yeah. Hmm. And uh, yeah, and the customer experience is the main part of each uh, company's success. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, uh, and it was uh, hard to to reach this uh, target. Yeah, and, and and therefore, since you mentioned this evolution of, in the team and 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 the work, um, what were the main challenges that uh, drove uh, such a project for the implementation uh, of, of of chatbots in this case? Uh, yes, uh, it's uh, about uh, we talk about uh, monotone questions and answers. Mm -hmm. They ask everyone <laughs> wants to know where is my parcel. This is the yeah. big question, and uh, yeah. this is uh, so easy to answer because system is one where we can uh, track the parcels and where we can find out uh, this uh, easy answer. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why we understand that uh, we don't need uh, just uh, the um, agents uh, who can answer to the calls or, or emails uh, to answer. But uh, the main challenge in the in the beginning was uh, the operations uh, um, resources. Then, if operations can deliver uh, all the parcels, everybody asks, "Where is my parcel?" And yes. we stuck in a, in a, this uh, part, and we decide to go to to this uh, solution, uh, to chat mm -hmm. solution, to to find uh, the way how we can answer out of business hours, how we can answer faster. That because 
uh, hiring people, it's not so easy. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, at that time, it was a very big challenge. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, mm -hmm. uh, customers are calling, and I'm I'm waiting for twenty minutes on a, on a, on a uh, uh -huh. on a line. Uh -huh. uh, why why you are not hiring more people? It's yeah. not so easy. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, that's why we we take the step. Yeah, 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 and yeah. At, at the end of the day, this this is good because it brings it takes us back to the the, the first couple of uh, slides that we touched today. So that customer experience, managing uh, certain expectations, and giving answers in as, as soon as possible. Because uh, at the end of the day, uh, the demand for a for a quick answer is 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 always there from uh, from from customers. And so, how did everything? map out at the end of the day how how, how is the, the situation now with the different chatbots that uh, that you have yeah with uh, with increasing uh, the volumes uh, following the customer requests mm -hmm. and uh, then we uh, start with the um, uh, for uh, first three easy language where is my parcel yeah. and uh, yeah we now uh, now we are almost a uh, year yeah. Uh, with uh, chatbot mm -hmm. and uh, now there is more topics uh, which one uh, they uh, they 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 three mm -hmm. <laughs> three of uh, them this is uh, um uh, can answer to mo most uh, questions uh, as 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 a beginning so yeah but the parcel status is the main so they, they become uh, uh more handy as as the time went yeah we see that they started with uh, a specific topic but they've been evolving uh, through yeah of course uh, it's, it's about uh, uh, the uh, chatbot trainer mm -hmm. of course every company if they uh, decide to to implement chatbot they uh, should understand that uh, chatbot trainer is needed and uh, mm -hmm. this is the person who works in customer service and understand mm -hmm. all the customer needs it's uh, most easier to implement if uh, work professional who answers to the customer question a daily basis. And yeah. if you start to work with a chatbot and understand what questions uh, they ask, they can build it uh, more efficient, uh, more intense and outputs that, uh, that the customer asks. Uh, and uh, also they is the uh, person who take over the conversation if a uh, customer uh, choose it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, they don't want to answer uh, by themselves they yeah. have to build uh, some uh, uh, more uh, make uh, uh, chatbot more intelligent yeah yeah but it's it's interesting to see the numbers that you uh, you put together uh since the implementation of of, of the chatbot with as many as uh, almost one th one hundred thirty thousand messages, uh, seventy thousand conversations, and 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 this is good. Uh, like um, only a four percent of the conversations are overtaken uh, by customer uh, support agents in, in in this regard. That means that uh, they can better focus on on more uh, specific uh, qualitative tasks that uh, they can do for 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 the department, for the team, and yes. so on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, uh, as uh, in in a previous slide, there's uh, why why we implemented, and uh, there was mentioned that to reduce call to customer service, and uh, as we understand uh, that uh, reduce call is not the main topic. To reduce call, we we can uh, naturally uh, mm -hmm. lower uh, amount of parcels is lower amount of calls. It's yes. naturally, but mm -hmm. uh, we uh, can follow the topics why they are calling, and yes. if we follow the topics why we are calling, why we are, they are writing the emails, uh, communicating other uh, uh, other uh, various of uh, channels, then uh, we uh, we can build it in a chatbot. They can answer faster and out of business hours. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, just a curiosity. Uh, did this Okis and uh, Martin uh, for any specific reason? For example, did this, or it, it was a name that uh, you liked uh, for for that specific uh, um, chatbot? How we are choose the name? Sorry. Yeah. It, yeah, this, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, it was uh, <laughs> it was inside in uh, in each view. 
they okay. uh, take the uh, ask for uh, for uh, employees uh, yeah. to to rate okay. <laughs> with uh, which uh, name the, uh, they like and yeah, uh, yeah this uh, is the okay. result yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, th thank you Karina um uh so we are reaching the end of of, of the presentation we'll move into the uh, question and answer uh session afterwards we have uh, as i see a couple of questions already uh in in uh, in, the, in the chat uh, we'll cover those ones but my, um, my my question also and maybe we go back to um inita is is the following this is a uh, a, a large um, project, the one that we saw with uh, with uh, Karina, three chatbots for uh, DPD across the Baltics, um, learning from the different type of, of scenarios that um, they understood from customer service uh, as as being the key topics to to, to evolve in terms of chatbot. Um, does it always? Uh, bring that complexity introducing a chatbot or uh, or, or things that are, are easier uh, in some other cases uh, yes thanks Ruben, for the question um yes uh, in, uh, indeed uh, dpd case so uh, it was a large project uh, which was combined in three baltic countries and um, a lot of uh, trainers involved um, but we can see that the result is uh, very good and everybody is satisfied um, but not uh, always the projects are uh, such large uh, scale. And um, I would like to um, tell you about um, our project that we made um, in Tilde uh, with a team of enthusiasts. Um, as uh, uh, we saw, uh, and um, it was related to the situation in the world that's happening in the uh, Ukraine and um, our team of enthusiasts uh, came together and uh, thought of, a, of an idea uh, to make a chatbot uh, who could help the Ukrainian people uh, to find um, uh, the most necessary information uh, and also to help uh, Latvian people to find the information how to support the Ukrainian people. Uh, mm -hmm. As we know that there was a time when there was a lot of information how to help, uh, where to find help. Um, uh, our team gathered all this information and um, created uh, a chatbot, uh, which is Help Ukraine bot, in uh, several days. Uh, it was made uh, uh, in four to five days and uh, from the start till the, uh, till the end. Mm -hmm. um, so um, it's uh, now placed in uh, more than 20 homepages and um, uh, it's like a social project and uh, we are... Um, offering it um, for uh, everybody who wants to put uh, this chatbot in their homepage, um, absolutely free. And um, if there is, uh, uh, if they want to put it uh, in the homepage, then um, they just write us an email and we send them um, information how to put it in homepage. Mm -hmm. And um, I would like to show you a small demo of this um, chatbot. Um, so, uh, just to see how it works and uh, to give a little insight uh, on sure. uh, chatbot. Mm -hmm. um, so I will take the screen. So I guess now you see my screen yes. with the chatbot. Your screen. Okay, so uh, this is the landing page where the chatbot lives. Um, here you can see that we can choose the language of the chatbot. Uh, we also have implemented it uh, in uh, four languages. Uh, of course, uh, Latvian, English, and Ukrainian, and Russian for, uh, um, for everybody who needs to know the information. Uh, let's switch to English so everybody can uh, understand what's written. And here lives the chatbot. Uh, if we are opening it, um, we see that here opens uh, the first um, panel that uh, gives us an insight of what this chatbot can help. Um, of course, we can write it also uh, in words, 
but this gives you an uh, insight of uh, what the chatbot is about and what information we can seek in here. Um, so for example, for the people of Ukraine, um, and chatbot gives us uh, information. She, here we can see uh, support. what support, mm -hmm. yeah, support uh, telephone numbers, uh, where to get information or questionnaires. Um, and also it uh, gives here information where to find uh, something else. So mm -hmm. for example, we are looking for accommodation. We can click here and it also um, combines the information that we have uh, given uh, this chatbot in the chatbot knowledge base, um, everything about uh, this topic. So maybe I don't know what I want to search and uh, I will write. And also the chatbots, uh, chatbot reads our intention, yeah. uh, what I have written and gives me the information. Mm -hmm. um, here we can see that uh, if we will click on this uh, site, it will open us in a different um, um, page and we can go back to the chatbot and um, look uh, for other things. Also, we can fill the form right uh, directly. It gives us a uh, form. Uh, this has been integrated with Google Forms. Yeah. Um, so this also shows how easy and uh, um, fluent we can integrate uh, different kind of web pages in our uh, chatbot or uh, mm -hmm. give uh, access already to the uh, forms to fulfill and so on. We can also add um, different kind of uh, media. We can give um, uh, infographs uh, that will show and so there are um, of visual so, elements that can be added yes. uh, in here. Mm. Also add some videos uh, and uh, other media that uh, you think it's necessary. So we can make it uh, visually um, interesting and interactive as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. yeah. thank you very much Inita. And, and, um, and this is something that uh, you mentioned uh, four or five days of, of, of work for, for, for this project. Yeah. Yes. This uh, this was uh, made in three, uh, four to five days, but uh, definitely it's uh, a team work and uh, everybody came together, gathered all the information that we want to put uh, in the chatbot. Chatbot learns very quickly. Uh, if we have all the information, uh, we put it in the platform, chatbot uh, uh, gathers all the information and teaches uh, mm -hmm. from this information. And um, we can um, add more and more information to um, expand the uh, yeah. knowledge base to enormous amounts as long mm -hmm. as we can keep up the structure. And yeah. um, so there's no limit uh, to what we can uh, build this chatbot. Yeah, there's something that what Karina mentioned uh, initially also how the, the chatbot uh, in, their, in their case uh, evolved from uh, a very specific uh, scenario at the beginning to, to handle different type of, uh, of, of uh, questions that customers uh, ask. Uh, thank you, Nita. Um, and with uh, this demonstration, uh, we uh, reach out the, the end of uh, the, the first part of, of today's webinar. Um, the second part, uh, we will allocate it to questions and answers that uh, you might have um, as I mentioned uh, a few minutes ago, we have some uh, questions uh, sent uh, in the Q&A uh, panel, as well as uh, in, uh, in, a, in, in the private chat. But um, maybe we can start with, uh, with some of those questions. Uh, I see uh, the first question is, does the chatbot understand context? Um, probably th this could be open to mostly to um, Inita but also Karina from her experience uh, can, can, can share some, some insights. And, and this, this is something that we touched upon during today's uh, presentation. Uh, context also, I believe, if we don't type uh, correctly uh, the, 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 the words or, or uh, if we just type the main topic uh, and, and, and the chatbot guides us uh, to, to the different uh, elements that uh, they can handle, correct? 
Yes, it can handle those questions. Yes, and the chatbot can understand the context as um, it uh, uses this natural language understanding and processing tools um, mm -hmm. that uh, can uh, understand chatbot's inputs also if they are grammatically or stylistically um, on, uh, like if there are some mistakes. Uh, as a chatbot, language mistakes from a, a style point of view, right? Yes, because uh, chatbot um, uh, trainers are doing uh, a great job on training the chatbot and um, every question that comes into the chatbot uh, can be used further to improve chatbot's uh, knowledge base. And um, that mm. means that uh, if there are coming in more and more questions, for example, um, you can ask in different ways how to uh, for an address for a company you can ask where is your address where are you located and uh, you can also ask uh, um, how to get to you or i'm lost where can i found your uh, where can i found you and yeah. when we gather all these uh, questions and um, give them uh, as an input to the chatbot chatbot learns and he um, builds his confidence uh, in um, um, this uh, scenario mm -hmm. specification and it can um, detect more and more precisely the intent of the conversation yeah. and give back the answer. So mm -hmm. it's a matter of training and the more uh, data you can put in the chatbot, the more precisely and more um, Mm -hmm. Correctly, can the, the, the better, the better with uh, it yes. is answer. Uh, and as you mentioned, uh, asking the the same question but from uh, a different in, in a different way. Uh, yes. As I understand, um, uh, Karina, how, how has uh, this process been from from uh, your your point of view? Yeah, uh, uh, our trainer uh, challenging uh, our chatbot all the time, <laughs> but not by themselves. Uh, he asked for uh, colleagues to yeah. ask to these uh, questions in different way. To uh -huh. teach the, the this um, uh, to teach him, uh, and in future uh, he can ask answer in uh, in a different way the same question. Yeah, and this is good because this helps uh, us as as I understand to uh, better shape that uh, user experience uh, for 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 customers. That of course we all have different types of uh, ways of how we message, how we type, and 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 how we write our answers, right? Yeah, and uh, what language we choose. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and exactly. Uh, yes. Um, uh, this this uh, this is a question that that, that I have for you, uh, Karina. Uh, we mentioned how things evolved in terms of messaging, how we communicate with customers. Uh, you've been managing a customer department team for for a long time. Um, how do you see communication with them evolving uh, in the last couple of years? Things change a lot. Do you see things evolving that fast also in in, in the near future? Or? I think this uh, last two years uh, exceed any forecasts of, mm. of uh, how uh, things can change. Yeah, uh, yeah, and uh, of course the, the customer um, habits uh, are changed, and uh, mm -hmm. also the uh, customer service uh, have to be changed. Yeah, yeah, and uh, as I think, uh, Latvian society is still. Uh, um, love to call yeah i i don't know why but uh, they still think that uh, this is the best way how to get the answer yes still calls are more than other uh, channels uh, uh -huh. used in latvia mm -hmm. yeah but uh, yeah we we see that uh, we are um, yeah i think uh, almost for a year uh, we have a whatsapp uh, communication channel then we uh, we um, Propose that uh, there will be the, the main channel where all requests uh, will uh, forward in a, in WhatsApp, but it's not uh, yeah. uh, so huge amount their uh, requests from customers. Mm -hmm. They are still they still are still are calling. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's, there's a question also for this specific uh, study case that we looked at today uh, in terms of uh, DPD implementing uh, chatbots. I see it in the chat now. Uh, I was wondering if DPD can comment on the savings achieved by introducing uh, the, the, the chatbot uh, at the Baltic levels. 
Is there yeah, I, 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 I can send uh, say it. Uh, we we can't count it in a, in a money. Yeah. But uh, we we understand that we do not uh, hiring more people to customer service. We mm -hmm. do that. Uh, um, um, Outlast. Yeah, with the, with, yeah. So 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 basically, uh, the, the team grow because of of uh, of the um, uh, COVID situation. But after that, the implementation of chatbots helped to stabilize yeah, we, work. We 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 stop growing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So you it's reduce cost growing. in terms of human resources um, uh, that you need for for to, to handle the work from from the team, as I understand. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Karina. And then there's another one. Uh, this was a, a question from one of our, our uh, attendees. There's another one. Do chatbots are able to specify a problem about which customer is talking about? For instance, if customer asks home, chatbot gives three options, summer, home, center, or the city. I believe this is something related to uh, the, the Ukraine chatbot uh, in terms of um, specify the problem about which customer is talking about. So to 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 if a chatbot uh, if the customer asks a specific topic like home if the chatbot can then re redirect to uh, the different options uh, within uh, that specific topic, yeah. That, uh... Yes, if I understand correctly the question, um, uh, yes, it can uh, define this this problem which mm -hmm. customer is asking if the chatbot has been teached uh, with this scenario. Uh, if we have um, teached it with uh, information that if we ask home, then we will give uh, home uh, possibilities. For example, like summer homes, um, permanent homes, uh, home for mm -hmm. a short term. Um, then yes, of course, yeah. it depends on the scenario and how we have uh, uh, managed uh, this dialogue to flow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and and then another question that uh, reached out to us uh, privately is in terms of metrics, which is uh, something I believe that, uh, for example, from a, a customer manager department uh, role, but also from Tilda, I think you both can jump in here. So the question is, uh, does it offer metrics and reports on, on how it learns? Um, so then both the any decision making person in here can analyze and and, and then take action further uh, in this regard uh, yes we have a specific um, analytics um, site in the platform mm -hmm. where uh, um, everyone who is um, in the chatbot uh, as a trainers and uh, who has access to this analytics site um, they can uh, see um, all the measurements and of the count of the conversations, um, see the most um, used mm -hmm. topics, uh, most yeah. used intents, also see the overtaken conversations. Mm -hmm. And um, this all can be used um, to uh, evolve and... Um, Mm. So this is something that um, uh, Karina also touched upon uh, in, in, in the slides, that 4% that, 4 that uh, of conversations that yes. now are on the from by. this analytics part uh, in the uh, chatbot, yeah. Mm. Oh. Yeah, good. Um, and then um, another question that we received, uh, this is for Inita. Um, since in here we saw a bit of the challenges uh, or the situation for uh, DPD uh, for the implementation of chatbots, from from your experience, uh, what what are the criteria uh, that companies more or less or in average need to apply when it comes to introducing uh, chat. chatbots? Mm, okay, um, so first of all, uh, of course, um, company needs to define those scenarios. What are they wanting uh, with uh, to achieve with the chatbot? What is yeah. the solution that? Uh, they are willing to solve or uh, where they, they want this help from the chatbot. Uh, is it uh, for the customer service? Is it a sales chatbot who will help uh, for sales? Um, then they have to define uh, a team uh, which will be working. Mm -hmm. As uh, also Karina mentioned that chatbot trainers are uh, one of the most uh, essential part uh, of the team as they are the persons who are training the bot. Um, who will uh, teach all the knowledge base. And of course, customer service specialists are uh, 
one of the most uh, uh, knowing persons in the company mm. about the customer questions. What are they asking? Why are they asking? Uh, how much are they asking? And they know all the um, common and basic questions. And um, this is a lot of help from them that they can gather all this information and then input in the chatbot to mm -hmm. make um, this chatbot uh, knowledge base um, efficient. Yeah, well, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, they will be the persons also who will be uh, maintaining the chatbot after the project yeah. is done. Uh, the work continues and uh, chatbot needs to be um, updated and um, mm -hmm. maintained uh, all its working uh, time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is good, the, the insights from the customer uh, service department. And this is something that uh, Karina also mentioned with uh, her team also testing uh, DITs and, and, and the, the, other, the other chatbots to make sure that uh, it learns and, 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 and can give a, a wider range of, of answers, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, and it's worked very good. If I uh, answer to the call a uh, couple times a day, uh, the uh, different... Uh, one um, yes. one answer I give a yeah. um, lot of times. Yeah. Then I ask to bid this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he can answer to this uh, question or not. If not, yeah. then uh, I give to a chatbot trainer to manage mm. with this. <laughs> yeah. But so this this is uh, a clever guy. In, in, yeah. In me here. <laughs> Never <Okay>. be sick. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, I think we answer all the questions. Um, uh, let me check once again the Q&A &A area and the chat just to make sure that, that there's no uh, more questions. But anyhow, there's been um, uh, quite some questions overall and uh, that's been good. Looking at time, uh, we are almost uh, at, uh, it's almost four o'clock, uh, our local time. So if there's no more questions, I would like to thank you both of you, uh, Inita Karina, for uh, for your time, your insights, and and uh, and the answers that uh, you've given uh, to 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 all of us. I think it's been a um, wide opening, um, eye opening experience, also, and 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 session just to understand better what are the possibilities, what are the challenges, or what uh, what how we can benefit from from this type of of uh, technologies or, or, or solutions to further automate processes and make uh, work uh, more efficient also for uh, customer uh, care specialists in, in this regard. Thank you very much, ladies, uh, for, for your time and, uh, and uh, hopefully we see each other soon. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.